It's live now. Glory, glory, I'm a shandala, I'm a shandala, I'm a handala, 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 i am a i Yes, Lord, 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 yes, Lord. We bless you, bless you, bless you, Lord, bless you, Lord. Yama mama ma shake be 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 shake be 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 koto bo bo bo. Ile ba sa mama mama si kana na na masata mama mama ma. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, we bless your God, we bless your God, we bless your God, we bless your God, we bless your God.
praises. Ha, truly you deserve all the glory. Ha, wonderful, wonderful. Ha, you are to us, oh God. Blessed name. Ha, blessed name. Ha, blessed name. Ha, you have a blessed name. Ha, you have the blessed name. Ha, blessings and glory. Ha, honor and power. Ha, be unto you, God. Ha, be unto you, God. Ha, you're so good. Ha, you're so kind. Ha, you're so holy. Ha, you're so wonderful. Ha, Yes, 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 Lord. Yes, 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 Lord. Yes, 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 Lord. Oh, yes, 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 Lord. yes, 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 Lord. yes, 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 Lord. Yes, 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 Lord. Jesus, ha, 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 Jesus
Jesus, ha, 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 ha, my God, for your glory, ha, my God, move by your spirit, ha, God, cover us by your blood, ha, cover our loved ones by your blood, ha, cover everything that concerns us, God, by your blood, ha, my God, in Jesus' name, ha, my God, in Jesus' name, ha, cover us, cover us, cover us, ha, go with us, go with us, go with us, ha, go before us, go before us, ha, in the name of Jesus, ha, we rebuke every retaliating, my God, work of the enemy, ha, as a result, ha, of this prayer, ha, we rebuke the devil, ha, in the east, ha, in the west, ha, in the north, ha, in the south, ha, the blood, 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 ha, the blood of Jesus prevails, ha, oh God, over our loved ones, ha, over everything that concerns us, ha, oh my God, over our bodies, ha, my God, our minds and spirits, ha, Jesus, ha, Jesus, ha, Jesus, ha, Jesus, ha, Jesus, ha, Jesus, ha, ma, 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 set, baby, baby, no. Meet every need ha, of every person, God, today. Ha, every need ha, of every person. Ha, oh, God, that will tune in today. Ha, my God, every prayer request. Ha, every sick loved one. Ha, every sick person. Ha, every discouraged person. Ha, my God, every person that have a financial need. Ha, Jesus. Ha, do it, God. Ha, do it, God. Ha, Jesus. Ha, Jesus. Ha, for your glory, God. Ha, do it for your glory. Ha, in the name of Jesus, ha, in the name of Jesus, ha, do it, God, ha, do it, God, ha, in the name of Jesus, ha, the blood prevails, ha, the blood prevails, ha, the blood prevails, ha, the blood prevails, ha, meet the needs, ha, oh, God, save, ha, our unsaved loved ones, ha, manda baseke, ha, oh, God, heal, ha, protect us, ha, from the virus, ha, from the violence, ha, from the retaliating works of the enemy, ha, my God, Ha, our loved ones, ha, our homes, ha, our churches, ha, and the devil ha, that deceived them ha, was cast ha, in the lake ha, of fire ha, and brimstone, ha, where the beast ha, and the false prophet are, ha, and you shall be tormented ha, day ha, and night ha, and night forever ha, and ever. Ha. Every person that will tune in right now, every person that will tune in right now, my God, meet the need, encourage and strengthen right now, God, as only you can do, as only you can do, meet the needs, God, save the souls, strengthen God, manifest your word, use your word, God, today, to speak a word, to speak a word in season, my God, in Jesus' name, Meet her needs, ha. meet her ha. at the point of her need. Ha. Jesus, ha. Jesus, ha. Every, ha. every desire ha. that she has, ha. let it be met, ha. let it be met ha. in the name of Jesus, ha. in the name of Jesus, ha. strengthen her, ha. my God, ha. use her, ha. speak through her, ha. speak to her, ha. even now, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, huh? we bless your holy name, almost oh, holy and righteous God. Huh? Right now, right now, right now, we pray huh? in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Huh? What a wonderful God we serve. Huh? We bless God huh? for this another day, huh? all that he has blessed us to see. Huh? And we thank God, huh? hallelujah, that he has kept us, huh? oh my God, from the virus, from the violence, huh? from the works of the enemy. Huh? On every hand, God has kept us. And it's another day, oh my God, for prayer and the word. Prayer and the word. Hallelujah. I have already prayed. You're welcome here at the Sanctuary of Praise and Worship Center, where yours truly, hallelujah, I am the under shepherd, hallelujah, Pastor Michelle Aldridge. And you're welcome here on our Facebook Live for another day for prayer and the word. Oh, glory be to God. We have our speaker, our guest, hallelujah, evangelist Marcia Baker, hallelujah. We knew her as Marcia Clark from school. She went to my high school, everybody. Hallelujah. We went to the same high school. This is where I know her from. <laughs> our high school, as we know, was
was a uh, girls high school, a Catholic high school. But let me tell you something. We got some powerful women of God that came out of that school. And she is one of them. Hallelujah. So if at this time you would like to share, share this with a friend. Let someone know that you're on the Sanctuary Praise and Worship Center Facebook Live so someone can come in and hear the <clears throat> from the woman of God, hallelujah, share it, share, 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 let someone know, hallelujah, share it on your Facebook page, and let someone know to come in, or just do a watch party, or just share, hallelujah, so someone can get a part of what you're about to receive, and those of you that would like to share an offering with us also, please share an offering and gift, Hallelujah. The link is right there on the page. You will see it right there on the page. Sanctuary of Praise and Worship Center Facebook page. It's right there, the link. You can offer the gift. Those of you that are tithing sanctuary members, you know what to do. Hallelujah. The link is there. Father, we pray, God, that every need will be met by the people right now, God. Encourage, strengthen, oh God. Multiply every gift even as they tithe God right now and give their offering. We pray in Jesus' name, encourage and strengthen right now. We believe you, God, in Jesus' name. And now as I present to some and introduce to others, our evangelist, speaker for prayer and the word today, hallelujah, evangelist Marcia Baker from Florida. Okay, I don't know. You know what? I don't know where in Florida you are. Fort Lauderdale. I don't know where in Florida you are, <laughs> but I know her from, well, Kingston, Jamaica, and she's in Florida, and I am in New York. So we give God praise for the World Wide Web and the woman of God coming forth. Amen. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord Jesus, my God. Come on, give it a Lord of praise tonight. Hallelujah. Come on, send up a praise. Come on, clap your hands. Come on and clap your hands. My God, hallelujah. Come on and clap your hands. Hallelujah. Come on, everybody on the line. Just clap your hands. Hallelujah. Send up a clap offering on tonight unto the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 We thank God tonight. Amen. God bless you. Good evening. Praise the Lord, everybody. Uh, God bless you, Pastor Michelle. My God, we were we went to Holy Child High School together. My God, who would have known 40 years later? My God, we went to a Catholic school. Can you imagine? We were Catholics. <laughs> we went to an all-girl Catholic school. Now we're preaching the gospel, mighty God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, God. Mighty God. So I bless God. I praise God for you. I'm truly honored and privileged to be on the platform with you on tonight. My God. I didn't know when I was, we were getting in trouble, getting in trouble together underneath the big tree. I didn't know that we were one day going to be ministering together on the same platform. God is just unique and perfect in all of his ways. He's never made a mistake. Amen. So I'm just giving God thanks tonight for everyone. Hallelujah. Bless God for the member of the members of Sanctuary of Praise. I give honor to everyone, the pastors, all the leaders, everyone, everyone on Facebook Live. Bless you. Welcome, welcome. Please do me a favor. Share this broadcast out. There is a word from the Lord. Amen. The Lord has, listen, literally, as I sat here, I had something else in my spirit, but as I sat here and you were praying, the Lord say, uh-uh, switch it. And I say, God, really? And I, I, that's why I was just rocking back and forth because I say, God, God knows what he's doing. So I had to switch up. So everything you hear now is going to be flowing from the Holy Ghost. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And I like when he does it because I'm, I'm learning, Pastor Michelle, to be obedient to the Lord because he says, if you are willing and obedient, you will eat the good of the land. And I don't even want to go past the semicolon. Hallelujah. I want to stay right where if you are willing and obedient. Amen. So tonight, thank God. Hallelujah. Our scriptures, my mom is on this feed on tonight. And that's truly an honor to have my mother on the Facebook feed tonight. Norma Mullins. Mom, big shout out to you. My God. <laughs> the testimony that I have between 
for me and my mother. I'm telling you, God is truly amazing. Amen. So tonight, I want everyone to turn your Bible to 2 Samuel chapter 4. 2 Samuel chapter 4. Somebody can type that in the comments. 2 Samuel chapter 4, beginning, and I'm only going to use one verse. My God. Hallelujah. One verse, 2 Samuel chapter 4 and verse number 4. 2 Samuel chapter 4, verse number 4. Oh, amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And the word reads as thus. And Jonathan, Saul's son, had a son uh, that was lame on his feet. Lame off his feet. He was five years old when the tidings came of Saul and Jonathan out of Jezreel. And his nurse took him up and fled. And it came to pass as she made haste to flee that he fell and became lame. And his name was Mephibosheth. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I just want to read it in our hearing again in the message version. It so happened that Saul's son, Jonathan, had a son who was maimed in both feet. When he was five years old, the report on Saul and Jonathan came from Jezreel. His nurse picked him up and ran, but in her hurry to get away, she fell and the boy was maimed. His name was Mephibosheth. And we see here in this Bible, in this word, that the Bible says that, um, that when the tidings, tidings in this text means the news. When the news came of his father and his grandfather's death, his nanny, now today we call them nanny. Back then, they called them nurse, all right? Ah, my God. His, the nanny now, or the nurse, heard the news and the people were also coming in because things were happening at that time, hallelujah, because they were in war, hallelujah. And so now based on the news that she heard in her haste now to get away to safety, mighty God, she fell, oh God. And they both fell because the Bible says she made haste and he fell fell and became lame in his feet. Mighty God. Now, Jonathan was the eldest son of Saul and he died at the same time with his father. And the Bible is letting us know that he had a son who was lame. Isn't it funny how people don't know us or speak of us by who we really are, but they speak of us and identify us by our situation. Oh God. They identify as Pastor Michelle based on what they see on the outside. My God, hallelujah. They, they say blind bought Timaeus. And even after he was, after he received this sight, they still refer to him as blind bought Timaeus. Mighty God, even the woman with the issue of blood, once she was healed, once she was made whole, people today still identify her as the woman with the issue. My God, hallelujah. Even the man that was impotent at the pool of Bethesda, even though he picked up his bed and walked, people still identify him as impotent. But people of God, I'm here to announce to you. I'm here to encourage you that even though you may have fallen by the wayside of life and became lame, you are not what your circumstance deemed you to be. My God, hallelujah. Oh God, I want somebody to type that in the comments. I'm not what my circumstance deemed me to be. Yes, I may became may have became lame and I may have become impotent and I may be blind and I may have an issue, but that's not who I am. My God, the Bible says that if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. So yes, the old thing has passed away. Yes, I used to be lame. My God, 
hallelujah, but it wasn't my fault. Hallelujah, it, not, it was not my will to be laying in my feet. Oh God, oh Jesus, help me tonight. It's not my will now to have an issue. It's not my will now to be blind. It's not my will now to be impotent. Mighty God in the name of Jesus. Oh God, tonight I come to announce to you, you are not who they identify you as. You have purpose. Oh God, there is purpose on your life. The Bible says, I know the plans I have towards you. And yes, you may be lame. Yes, you may be hard. Yes, you may be blind. Yes, somebody may have dropped you. Yes, somebody may have raped you. Yes, somebody may have molested you. But you're not your circumstance. You're not your situation. You're not what has happened to you. As a matter of fact, what happened to you wasn't even your fault. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. There is a purpose on your life. My God. There is destiny still in you. My God. Hallelujah. Lame in your feet and all. Messed up in your emotions and all. Oh, God. Bleeding for 12 years and all. My God. Oh, God. Born. Oh, God. I'm paralyzed. It's not your fault. Mighty God in the name of Jesus. But I'm here to tell somebody tonight that Jesus is the answer. He can make a layman walk. He can dry up an issue. Oh God, he can make the blind see. He can make the deaf hear. He can make the dumb see. Speak. So whatever situation you find yourself in tonight, it wasn't your fault that your uncle raped you. It wasn't your fault that your mother abandoned you. It wasn't your fault that you was left by the wayside to die. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus. You're not who you say you are. Oh, they are, you are. Your circumstances dictate you to be my God. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus, my God, hallelujah. The Bible says that in her haste, and sometimes in our haste, um, Pastor Michelle, we make decisions that will mess our lives up. Oh, God. We make decisions now because we're so emotional and we're trying to get away from stuff happening. Oh, we fall down. But the writer in, in, in the psalm said, a righteous man falls seven times, but he get back up. Oh, Jesus, my God. Oh, God, and he won't, the Bible says, he will keep you from falling. He's able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless. Yes, you may have fell, but get up. Pick yourself up. Dust yourself up and start over again. You're not who you are. You're not lame in your feet. Yes, your circumstances may say you're lame, but that's not who you are. Why? Because later on down in the book, the Bible said that David now was reigning. David had became king. And because Paul, Saul now, mighty God, had a son named Jonathan, and Jonathan and David's friendship, they needed, they became brothers, they became tight, they became bosom buddies. And now David now remembered the kindness that Jonathan showed him when he was a young boy. My God. That's why, Pastor Michelle, we have to be nice and kind to people because we don't know who, we don't know when, we don't know how we're going to need that person. So now David is sitting on the throne. And mind you, Pastor Michelle, the throne rightfully belonged to Miss Fibbersheth. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. The throne now rightfully belongs to Miss Fibbersheth. Oh, God. Hallelujah. So David now said, is there any from the house of Saul that I could be a blessing to? And oh, Jesus. And the servant said, yes, there is a son of Jonathan. Watch this now. Pastor Michelle, and the servant said, but he is lame in his feet. Hold on. When the king asks about you, he don't care what your situation is. He don't care if you're in the prostitute den. He don't care if you're in the dead house. He don't care if you're strung out on drugs. He don't care if you're a crack addict. He don't care 
you. So the Bible said that David's servant said, oh God, yes, there is somebody of the house of Saul, but he is lame in his feet. His name is Mephibosheth, and he is in Lodabar, oh God. Sometimes, Pastor Michelle, because of what life and how life has treated you, you go into a low place. But tonight, I'm coming to get you out of that low place. Why? Because the king has need of you. The king is calling your name. He's calling Darlene. He's calling Jacette. He's calling calling Alicia. He's calling Kenneth. He's calling Mary. He's calling Grace. He's calling Sheena. He's calling... He's calling Marva. He's calling Norma. He's calling Michelle. He's calling Marcia. Why? Because you've got purpose. He's calling Kamara. He's calling you. He don't care how low you are. That's why I like the song says, I was sinking deep in sin far from the peaceful shore very deeply stained within i was sinking to rise no more but the master the savior the deliverer the healer the christ the crystals shut up the morning elijah's will in the middle of the will the praiser oh god the healer is calling you he's calling you He's calling you. He's calling you, Satania. He's calling you. He's calling you, mighty God. So after David heard all this, the Bible said that he told the servant, he said, go get him. Oh God, I don't care how low you have became because the Lord have need of you. He's going to send and get you out the jailhouse. Oh God, oh Jesus, because the Lord have need of you, he's going to send somebody now, the very person who described your situation and not you will have to come and get you. And the Bible said that when Mephibosheth came before David, that he fell down and worshiped and he was asking, what do you want with me? I'm a dead dog, I have no use. But in that dead dog, I see a preacher. In that prostitute, I see an evangelist. In that drunkard, I see a bishop. In that alcoholic, I see an apostle. In that, oh God, divorcee, I see a prophet to the nation, to that mighty God been in jail. I see a great man of God. It doesn't matter how you see yourself. When God sees you, he sees you new. My God. Oh, Jesus. So when he came, when Mephibosheth came, and Mephibosheth name means shame. Mighty God. His name mean, meant shame. Oh, God, his original name means a contents for bail or a bail warrior. And here come this bell warrior who's going to be sitting at the king's table. I don't care what your circumstances is tonight. I don't care what you're facing. COVID came, but it didn't take you out. <laughs> My God, COVID came and isolated all of us. So now we had to get closer to God and he has pulled us up. Oh God, because of COVID, many of us are praying three times for Four times, five times for the day. We're in our word. Why? Because uh, there's nothing else we can do. Oh God, the homes are coming together because of COVID. And because of that now, the king says, sit at the table. I like what 
David did Pastor Michelle because the Bible said he gave Mephibosheth so much stuff and told Mephibosheth, look, this all this is yours, but you don't even have to worry because you don't have to, you won't have to lift a finger to work the land. I'm going to get you servants. <laughs> When you're in a low place, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. The king is going to send for you. And when the king bless you, my God, he blesses you abundantly. And he, the, the Bible, the story is so good, Pastor Michelle, that David said, listen, you're not even going to live in the house that I'm going to give you. You're going to live with me and you're going to eat from my table. My God, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So don't, I don't care what your circumstances are. Ah, oh, God. And I don't know who this word is for tonight, but I just want to let you know the circumstances and the situation that you're facing, that's not who you are. Ah, oh, Jesus. You may have been born in a broken home. My God, hallelujah, Jesus. But you're not a bastard. <laughs> oh, he called you son. My God, hallelujah. Mighty God in the name of Jesus. Uh, somebody tonight on this seat, God is calling you. God is calling you. God is calling you. Hallelujah. He doesn't care what you've been, what you're into right now. He doesn't care about your circumstance. He doesn't care care that you're laying in your feet. He doesn't care if you're in a low place. He's coming tonight to pick you up. He's coming tonight to take you out of the muck and the mire. He's coming tonight to place your feet on solid ground. He's coming tonight to make you new. You are new in Christ. Somebody type in the comments, I'm new in Christ. I'm a new creation. I'm I've been born again. I'm no longer bound in sin. I'm not laying in my feet anymore because Jesus has invited me to the table. I don't know what your need is tonight. And I don't know who dropped you. All I can tell you now that is not your fault. <laughs> oh, Jesus. What happened to you is not your fault. What happened to you on account of somebody's called themselves protecting you is not your fault. Rise up above it. Rise above the circumstances. Rise above the situation. Be made whole on tonight. Be delivered tonight. Be set free. God bless you in Jesus' name. Mighty God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody say, thank you, Jesus. Come on, somebody reach your hand and just say, thank you, Jesus. Come on, type, thank you, Jesus, in the comments. Come on. Come on, tell him thank you. Thank you for bringing me from that low place. Thank you for bringing me from that low place. Thank you for bringing me up and out. Thank you for rescuing me from Lodi Bar. Thank you, God, for bringing me up and out. Thank you, God, for pulling me into my purpose. Thank you, God, because destiny is calling me. I got to come out of Lodi Bar. I can't stay in this place. I've been like this too long somebody type in the comments I've been like this too long I've been like this too long it's time to come up it's time to come out mighty God oh Jesus oh God you've got to come up you've been low too long You've been low too long. You've been in loaded bar too long. You've been in that low place that you forgot how to walk. You've been low too long. You've been low too long. You're too low, come up here. 
God is calling you up higher. Come up evangelist. Come up prophet. Come up pastor. Come up deacon. Come up prophet. Come up apostle. Come up child of God. Come up man of God. Come up woman of God. Come up out of load of bar. God bless you. God keep you. God make his face to shine upon you and give you peace in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God, hallelujah. Ooh. Our circumstance does not dictate our situation, hallelujah. And it does not dictate our destiny. Come up, Ooh. hallelujah, Jesus. glory to God, hallelujah. God. No matter what happened to you in your past, no matter what mistakes you made, that's what the woman of God said hallelujah it does not hallelujah obstruct your potentials and how god sees you what a wonderful word from the woman of god what a wonderful word we give god praise for you evangelist and i'm not going to preach after the preacher but lately i did preach a message hallelujah glory to god and i did include mesh Fibber step. My God. And dealing Jesus. with low self esteem. My Praise God. Me. Confirmation. Praise for my Fibber step. Oh, glory to God. My Hallelujah. God. Day, Lord, God place, that forgotten place, that desert place. And that's what God called us out of that desert place, that dry place. And we give God praise today. We give him praise. God is truly a wonderful God. We pray God will strengthen the woman of God and restore everything that she gave out in the name of Jesus. Strengthen our oh God. Encourage our oh God. Meet every need, oh God, in her life right now. In the name of Jesus, Father, for your glory. And every person, God, that doesn't realize their potential in you. Father, lift them up, oh God. Raise them up, oh God. Encourage and strengthen them. Take them out of that load of all. That forgotten place, God. That dry and thirsty land, oh God. In the name of Jesus. We thank you, God, for all things. Provide for your woman servant, her husband, oh God, her loved ones. Oh God, even now, God, in a ministry, God, continue to open doors for her, God. We believe you, God, to do it, not by power, not by might, but by your precious Holy Spirit. We bless you, Lord, right now, in Jesus' name, hallelujah. We bless the Lord, we bless the Lord, we bless the Lord for you joining us today for the prayer and the word, the prayer Thank and you, the Jesus. word. God is truly a wonderful God. She, let me tell you, it was short, but spicy. Those of you that just came in, start when we post this video, just watch it again, watch it again, watch it again, amen? Because God, oh my God, he, even those of you that saw the whole thing, watch it again, because you never know, you never know. You may have missed something, some notes, Go over it again and see what God has to say to you today and share it with someone. Share, share, share with your friends. Share on your Facebook page. Share. Let others see and hear what you have gotten today at the Sanctuary of Praise and Worship Center. Facebook Live, Prayer and the Word. Those of you that weren't able to share your offering, your gift today, please share a gift with us on the link. There's a link there on the page. Share it or you can call the church. 718-404-2586. And you can call for any other information you may need. If you need prayer, if you need counseling, or you need any information about the church. We will continue to do social distancing at the church on this Sunday at 1 p.m. We will start our Facebook Live, but our service still starts at 12 noon. So we're looking to see those of you. Uh, we're keeping within the 25 person's limit so um just call the church if you have any questions we didn't go over last week but we did have quite a few people but we did not go over and we're going to keep it on the same wavelength amen so we're believing god for wonderful things and that he's going to continue to cover you 
and your family during the time of this pandemic. We know Florida, our, oh my gosh, our Florida is really dealing with some stuff right now, but yeah. we declare that God will work it out. He did it for us here in New York. We had, a, we were a hot spot. And let, let me tell you, our governor didn't play and he got it done. So we declare, we declare, yeah. we declare. There is the link right there for the offering. Just let's thank God for our, um, our web administrator, hallelujah, Danielle Bryan. She just changed, she, uh, she just shared it there for you to share your offering. Hallelujah, glory to God. Um, we, we give God praise for our governor Cuomo. And we know that God is going, if he did it here for New York, he can yeah. do it for Florida because Florida yes, has a will. lot of praying people. You know, that's where I'm going to be moving to. You know, I intend to move to Florida. I'm going to have a home in Florida. I'm going to be down there. I don't know how I'm going to deal with the heat, but <laughs> that's where I, I'm planning to go to retire. And I give God praise for all things. I give God praise for all things. I give God praise for all of you that have joined in, hallelujah, and we're declaring in Jesus' name that he will continue to protect you, cover you by his blood, and provide for all of you and for our Florida family as well. We will be here live, Facebook Live again, right here, 1 p.m., Sanctuary of Praise and Worship Center. And we thank God for all of you that have joined in. We have, uh, let me tell you, she gave a short but spicy message. And we are believing God. Please watch it again, all of you. Watch it again. Share it with your fan, your friends, your family, and all that are uh, involved with you. Praise God. Thank God for you, evangelist. Thank God for you. And Bless God. Thank you for having you me. Soon. Thank you. And we're going to have her on the ladies' lounge also. Ladies' lounge is Tuesdays at 3 p.m. And we uh, also repeated at 7 p.m. with a watch party. But she's going to be on because she has an awesome testimony. My God. <laughs> I'm not going to yes. even say a part of it. An awesome testimony. And we thank God for her. So we thank you for joining in. We're looking to see you again. Facebook Live, Sanctuary Praise and Worship Center here at 1 p.m. on Sunday. And then we'll be here again on Tuesday at 3 p.m. with the Ladies Lounge. <clears throat> looking to see you again. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Bless you. Bless night. you all. Bless see you, everybody. You soon. Blessings.